So when we differ, what do we do? We start yelling. We get up, we yell, we shout, we want to prove something. We make mistakes. It could have been your wife who knocked somebody else's Porsche. What would have happened? It's, it happens. We make mistakes. It's called an accident because it is by accident. That's what it is. It's not like boom. Okay, I did it. Dodge him, Carl. Let's reverse. Boom. And now I hit the other one. Let's go this way. Boom. I don't think it has happened. No. Nobody does it intentionally, so don't get upset. When you know you're disciplined is when people make a blunder, when a glass breaks, when something happens that you don't like, you don't get angry, then you know you're now a true Muslim. A young man came to the Prophet, peace be upon him. He says, oh messenger, imagine he got a chance with the messenger. If you were to get a chance with Muhammad wasallam, what would you ask him? I mean, it's people say that to whoever they want to meet. They, what will I say? I, I have one minute to say something. What can I say? He says, oh messenger, give me advice. Now, do you know, sometimes you, you, you're busy walking on the street. I, it's happened to me when I'm walking in a mall sometimes and someone me, greets you and they say, you know, uh, what advice can you give me? I'm about to get married. I say, I'm about to buy something from the shop, you know. Subhanallah, it's the wrong place. If the guy says, you know, Sheikh, I have a quick question. I says, does it look like this Tesco is a Q&A, you know? We want to buy something, relax, just greet and goodbye. That's it, greet, hello, how are you? P you know, polite greetings and that's it. Alhamdulillah, I'm happy to see you and I'm glad to see you. Perhaps maybe nowadays, based on the generation we're living in, a selfie wouldn't be a bad idea, okay? Although I don't encourage it, but it's okay, fine. However, however, this man says to the messenger, peace be upon him, give me some advice. The messenger, peace be upon him, told him, don't get angry. Why? Maybe he noticed something about this guy, right? Maybe the guy, whatever must have been, only Allah knows. Because the Prophet ﷺ gave different advice to different people and it was unique to this man, you know. So he says, don't get angry. Now imagine if someone were to meet a very you know, a person they look up to and ask them, give me advice. And they told you, be patient. You would like, oh, anything else? You know, like you were expecting more, right? Anything else you have to say? Imagine coming to a motivational evening and just hearing two paragraphs and then we got to go. You would think like, is that it? I think we were ripped off. Subhanallah. Right? But I promise you, my brothers and sisters, the Prophet, peace be upon him, was asked again, okay, give me more advice. He said, don't get angry. Give me more advice. He said, don't get angry. Give me more advice. Don't get angry. Do you know why? Perhaps that man might have had a problem with his temper, but I want to tell you, we all need that advice because we get angry. When things don't happen your way and you can calm down, you're a true follower of that messenger, peace be upon him. You deserve his intercession on the day of judgment. May Allah grant it to us. My brothers and sisters, we get angry very fast. When something in the home doesn't happen, whether it's the child or a spouse or a parent or a sibling, we get so upset. We, and how we, we start venting bad words. We utter vulgar words. And the hadith says a true believer never uses an abusive word. I'm not going to ask you to put your hand up if you've never sworn a swear word in your life. Because I think my hands would be down too and it would be such a big embarrassment. But that was back in the day maybe. May Allah forgive all of us, starting with me. But we must improve. We've said bad words, hurtful words, dirty words, abusive words, and you still claim to be a Muslim and that's why we're suffering. Subhanallah, you will go to your masjid. The masjid is a place where you're supposed to go for prayer and for worshipping Allah for something good. When you get in, it's going to be too hot or too cold. When it's too hot or too cold, shaitan comes and says, but you're a wealthy man. I'm sure you can raise your voice here and you say, open the window. And then there's an old uncle who has slightly less money than you saying, I'll feel cold. You say, it's okay, open, open. And then you look at the guy who's working. They say, I'll, you, you'll be fired if you don't open that window. Wow. You want Jannah, subhanallah. 